<laughs> okay, we're one mile into the trail and we've already hit some great trail magic with these fellas that are giving us a ride to our destination. So, because we tried to get there in a Mustang. Yeah, that didn't work which too was well. Not a good didn't plan. work too well. So here's our new friends. This is I am Mike. And I'm ready. I ready and. My name is Nash. Hi, Nash. <laughs> you guys are the best. This this hike is starting off right. <laughs> some tuna and some gluten-free Cheez-Its for lunch. Tie wraps, shoelaces, you all kinds of duct tape. Head. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. The trail angel grandpa, right? Yeah. Grandpa! <laughs> So there's these white flowers everywhere that have these green tops that like protect them. And the entire area of this forest is covered with them. I have no idea what they are. This tree made like a natural archway, like two trees grew into one. Pretty big climb, but the view was worth it. Yeah. All right, Jacqueline. Let's walk. See if we can walk and talk. Walk and talk. And not make people sick with how bouncy it is. Okay. So tell everyone some of the things that you've learned in our few trips. Like what are some of the things that we've been epic screw ups on? Um, <laughs> I don't know if we've had epic screw ups. Okay. Um, coming up to a uh, four wheel drive trail in a mustang i mean that's that's maybe kind of can i recommend. blame that one on my husband <laughs> you can um, um what about oh you you just were talking about something you said that you thought two person meals were too big and we came up uh, with a solution true true yeah i will say um two person meals yes you're recommending putting them in you said freezer bags, like or the freezer Ziploc bags, and yeah, um, splitting them, splitting them before you come, or like putting them in like in a bag, and then portioning them out in a stasher bag to cook them. I would recommend that. I think the two main things that bugged me on our last trip was that was making sure you had easy access to your water, yes. which you solved with your which I have solved with this mini clip, which works excellent. And which you don't have on. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> which I gave um, you one. <laughs> I do. I have it in my pocket. And the phone clip. Ah. You got to have access to your phone for photos, your trail maps. I mean, you don't have to, but I found it very annoying not to. And I also haven't fixed that problem either. <laughs> I have solutions. So, for so them, your two most annoying things you've are not. still going to annoy me. <laughs> but I have a solution for one of them, and I'll ah. pull it out of my pocket here soon. But. So I, I found, uh, so I created solutions for a couple of things. One was I needed a tent that didn't leak. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so I got a new tent. So I'll let you know if this one leaks. Yeah, we both have new tents. So yeah, we'll have to do new some tents. Beer reviews on that. Yeah, and I got a much lighter backpack. Yes, this would be the back old there. Way. It's Good that way. way. Old way. <laughs> well, this is still better than your last one. Yeah. And then uh, what else did did I learn? Um, now one thing I will say, you said this works okay for you. That hurt my shoulder a lot, but I can say I'm able to stick that clip, that same water clip down there, right here Oh, okay. on my hip belt. Okay. And if I carry that extra weight down there, it's fine. So what so. I do is I switch the bottle every other day. So I have it okay, on my left right, shoulder right, one right. day uh -huh. and then I put it on my right shoulder the next day. I must be weak because I only carried it for a few hours and... My okay. shoulder was not right. It was bugging you? Yes, I'm weak. <laughs> okay, pause. It's gorgeous out today. So day two of our trip from Springer Mountain to Neal's Gap. Yesterday we did about 18 miles. We may have a short day today. 
because there's a section where you need a bear canister and we do not want to carry bear canisters. We have ursacs, but they're not always approved. So, gorgeous. So on the Appalachian Trail, there's a horse coming to visit. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Josh and I had a stick impale my hand um, all the way through the skin and almost to the other side. And we pulled out a piece of wood. This piece right here is in my hand there. And it's Tatiana, thankfully. <laughs> Two hour surgery, lots of yelling. <laughs> Backwood surgery. Yeah, lots of pain, lots of screaming. And then here we are. Thankfully, ran into a doctor <laughs> who actually knew how to treat hey! this thing. And here we are, um, hoping it doesn't get infected. So, doctor, yeah. Yes. so yes, yeah, exactly. all right, the Mickey Mouse band aid is yes. really going to make it all better. And then tomorrow, we're going to bring you into town to yes, get you get some. Actually, some. Real some antibiotics, antibiotics and. Or yeah. Gonna... yeah, I don't have any antibiotics yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do not have antibiotics. So there are no antibiotics. <laughs> The little hiking Pomeranian. The little bounces he does. Yeah. I don't know what these flowers are, but the whole mountainside is covered with them. And our new friends and my new patient. <laughs> Here comes the clouds. That's so cool. Oh, I can feel it on my face. Huh. Go ahead. It was so weird. Jackie's in so many of my videos. You're like the star of my videos, That's Jackie. That's scary. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to show up on the video, but you can actually see clouds. Yeah, you can. Like blowing over the top of Blood Mountain. That's really cool. Do you guys see the clouds? When I was a kid, I used to watch Sesame Street and they had a little inchworm named Slimy. Found this little guy, he was on me when I was walking outside. But now I need to go put him, put him back somewhere safer than my car or my body. <laughs> <laughs>